it says something about orientation is locked. Rotate device back. I don't know why I said that, but um, how do I unlock it? It was saying rotation lock. I think I got to take that rotation out. I don't know how I do it, but um, I don't know how to take the rotation off. If I'm doing it right, I don't know. Somebody on here that's going to watch this, show me how when I go live, how to take the rotation off my phone. As y'all see, I'm um, driving. I'm driving. But I wanted to show, I wanted to show y'all like how uh, I find my locations for my different storefronts, my different businesses. So I'm leaving one of my stores right now. It's like the, my stores. A couple of my stores right here. So I'm leaving one of them now. But um, I want to show how I look for store locations and find my locations for the different businesses I got. So most of y'all know I got a smoke shop, some bookstores, restaurant, catering company, a recording studio. And I got a couple of different businesses that I that I run or, you know, my own and stuff like that. My shirt's all, I'm in the car. But how I find my locations, first of all, I'll be, you have to know like where you want your, um, First of all, you you want to know like where you want to have your store at. Anything about like publishing? I forgot I own publishing companies and bookstores. So email me my email. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna um, end up putting it. Find my email. It's no break CEO at gmail .com. Um, Yeah, that's my publishing. I don't want to come in here and talk about books and publishing right now. But if you want to um, get at me in my email, is is no break CEO at gmail. But like I was saying, so what I do is the locations wherever I want, like to open a business, matter of which business I'm trying to open up, I'll drive like certain areas. Like if I want to be in the trenches, like if I know, like if I've got some hood apparel or some street stuff, I'm gonna go like towards the ghettos where, where I, where I, where I see it could sell. Like you gotta know your location, your audience, what you trying to, what you trying to put out to the public, like what you selling, and your product and stuff like that. Um, also, a, a number, a number rule, a number one rule too is location of it matter. Like, what kind of environment is that location? Is it is it real trifling? Is it real ratchet? Is it real? Because you gotta know your crowd and the neighborhoods you're moving in, and you gotta also know if the people gonna support you and stuff like that. Especially like being from LA, knowing if you if you from a certain hood or a certain neighborhood, you know you can't go to that neighborhood or just certain politics that come with them moving into certain ghettos and stuff like that. Even in certain like um, suburbs and white neighborhoods and let us say the um, rich people neighborhood, because rich people that ban you too if you coming with that rah rah. So you gotta understand like the location. Location is always key. So that's what's the whole thing about today, what I decided to do. I haven't been on live in a minute. So even my YouTube in general, because stuff, when I say a lot of different stuff, it's more uh, 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 the principle that I do. Um, I say I got to run all my businesses. I started a new um, record label and a um, multimedia outlet. For, it's called Grand Camp in L.A. where we, I just signed a lot of artists and stuff, and, and they getting a lot of buzz. So I've been busy with that. Um that's a lot of stuff like I've been tied up with, but I decided I wanted to come back on my YouTube. And and I don't know if y'all seen the video from how to start a smoke shop with less than $5,000. That video, didn't get that video and stuff to show y'all the location. It's like I'm in a car right now. So a lot of the stuff I'll be stagnant with what I'm saying. Like y'all see, I'm in a car. I'm right here in LA right now. And this is off like San Pedro between, it's on Century between San Pedro and Avalon. So it ain't gonna be too many locations these widespread streets with a lot of residential residential houses on them but i was going eastbound so i'm gonna turn back and go like westbound like towards like the west side and stuff like that um so what i was saying is like you gotta find um a location where you feel is profitable to you 
you know, if you grew up in a certain area, if you know a lot of people over there, you know what they do, that area might be profitable to you. But then again, it might not because some of the people probably feel, oh, that's you. They feel they can come get stuff from free and then get mad at you when you don't. So it's like different stuff. Like you just look for stuff like this burger place right here. This burger place empty. If I was looking for a restaurant, what I do. I hit these people up because they got it boarded up, gang tatted, windows bust. So that mean that they not really making no money. That mean they not making no money as in sitting whoever on that property. That property is getting vandalized. That property is all different types of stuff. So that have been a good interest for me knowing that I know a lot of people in this community around this area and knowing that, okay, if I find a good cook or something like that and I'm into the restaurant and I'm, and, and I, I'm looking for a restaurant, that would be good for a good restaurant, y'all. But the thing of it is, like I say, you always got to know your area and where you're going. You just can't go set up and know anybody neighborhood or know anybody like because even like in the suburbs, you know, people, especially like the Asians and stuff. And like, don't call me racist, but some people be they be wanting taxes, Mexicans, Asians, this everybody blacks. I'm not going to generalize no people, but I'm just saying just know where you go before you go um, and all. So like that spot I just showed y'all. That spot look like it's been vandalized. That spot look like the people who own it is not making no money off that spot. And I might could go get that spot right there for if, if the property around here, rental property for let's say restaurants for that square footage is worth about three thousand. Me being who I am, I'm gonna go talk them down to about fifteen hundred. Because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go tell them, like, look. I'm an asset to you. You need me. Your property is not making no money right now. A person like me going to come upgrade this property. I'm also going to protect this property because it's in the, it's going to be in my interest. You kind of get what I'm saying? So you want to tell a person like, look, just don't look at me as a tenant. Look at me as an asset. And right now your property is not bringing no value to you. It's getting destroyed. And people like that, you'll be surprised. God, like I got somebody that can manage the property for me. Oh my God. And I got somebody that's looking to upgrade my property. He see a vision just like I see a vision. So I didn't took the value of that property of paying three thousand a month to fifteen hundred a month, and he agreed. So now I'm pocketing fifteen hundred a month just by who 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 going to go to a location where you you not off top when you go somewhere you, your plans is to go upgrade that location for your customers to to feel that it's, it's safe to come and it's better to come and and if it's a restaurant you don't want people to feel that it's, it's a it's a hole in the wall because they're gonna think rats and roaches and they don't want to eat there. So with that being said, you have to think. In the origins of of your location you also have to think what it really you want to do and what show really goes with when it come to location finding so like here i am right here now and i'm going back westbound i turned off century now and i'm on colden i'm on like colden in san pedro in la like i said i'm in los angeles that's like my home base so what i decided to do okay i'm gonna turn i'm gonna turn right we're gonna go back towards manchester there's more like businesses black businesses too on manchester but um so now i'm just looking at locations looking at locations see so this is considered like inner city ghetto ghetto or whatever you feel what i'm saying but this might be prime location for me a lot of my prime locations have been in inner cities because here i am i was born and raised in the inner city so i know how to talk i know how to i know how to you know network with different people in the inner city now look at here look at here look what i found look what i found y'all on san pedro and 93rd if you're in la i'm gonna give y'all some give y'all some gang this is for rent hmm this is for rent a little small step-in spot let's let me go look at that Say there, say there. Look what I done found. All right. <laughs> so, I'm probably about to look at something. I'm probably about to look at something. I know somebody who was trying to open up a hair salon, and they've been hitting me, and they want one in L.A. Now, this might be the prime location for them. Now, me personally, being the person I am, a lot of y'all know I was in the street life, so I just don't hop out and just know anywhere with a lot of, you feel me? Then I'm pulling up. You see this? see the gangs hit up you know so you gotta be careful you like with me like i'm not gonna say oh i could just pull up anywhere i'm this big bad wolf no so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep my car running i'm also gonna make sure i'm per, you know i'm make sure i'm safe before i just hop out you know can't say everything over over this um live so that being said we're gonna i'm gonna let y'all start looking when i get prepped So, y'all see that? That's safe for rent. You feel me? Now, I'm going to hop out this one. Look. 
This one I want y'all to this one I want y'all to see. So you see this uh, this is like a little step in. I don't know how much they want for it, but it's just a step in, man. It look like there's a lot of trash in here. Say no trespassing, so I'm not gonna trespass. But it's just like a little step in. I can see like a little salon, a couple chairs and stuff like that up in here. So that's what y'all look at when y'all when y'all deciding to pick a spot that y'all trying to pick. This right here next door, this look like this probably two two different spots. So my whole thing, if I was coming here, let me back up some. So this two different spots and they both look like they closed, right? Check your you check your locations. You should, me personally, like I said, I'm just watching my hood with my back turned. I'm out here filming and stuff. But so these two locations, me personally, what I do, I want both spots if I was to get this. You feel me? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure I take down this number. I see y'all looking. I see y'all looking. Y'all want a spot? But like I said, I gotta watch, okay. This let me know who territory I'm in, who beefing and stuff like that. I know it's a Mexican store. I mean, not a Mexican store. It's a New York market in Ellie right there, a little liquor store. It's a church right there. So it's different. You gotta, you know, watch show. You gotta look at the location and see what you see. With that being said, also, let me bust this U turn, y'all. Also, another thing is, I might could get that spot for a little bit of nothing. So is that what I want? What y'all say? Y'all come in, let me know. Is that something I want? Or can y'all see me taking over that spot and making it something? Or can y'all see yourself taking over that spot and making it something? Y'all come in, y'all like, y'all subscribe and stuff like that. So just so happened we happened to hit a corner and it was something good. Like, so let's see what else, what else we can find. Like I say, just riding. I wasn't expecting them to find that right there. Let's see what else we got. This was available one time. They turned from a store to a to a thing. So I'm seeing a laundry man. We over here, you know, like I say, stumping grounds. These my stump grounds too. Green Meadow Park. You know, shout out to all my boys. Be this way, y'all feel me? The school, you know, this so it might be good locations over here. You just gotta look. And let's go to some entrepreneur type stuff. Just while I'm on this, while I'm here, while I'm on this, I have to go to this entrepreneur type stuff just to let y'all see. I'm gonna turn around this way. But look. I found one location. I might try to find another one, but this for everybody who can't afford to go get a location, but you got extra space at your house. Now watch this. One thing I salute, and, 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 and like I said, I'm not no racist or nothing, but I salute Mexicans and, and, and the Spanish people because they will get out there and get it. Black people, we too tired of, we worried about what people think about it. But this right here, before I show y'all, let me stop. Before I show y'all, this right here, this is the F and two. This is just entre this is the definition of being an entrepreneur. Look, so if you see this, this is somebody's house. So they took their house. Look, look. See how they said they got the mannequins, they got the clothes, they got all the stuff for y'all. Look, this is somebody's house, and believe it or not, somebody gonna stop and see this, and somebody is gonna buy. So even if they only make a hundred dollars a day, you add that up a hundred times thirty is three thousand dollars. Now, if they only make 50, 100 times, 50 times 30 is 1,500 extra a month income. Y'all think about that, man. That's just something to think about. Like I say, we just out here looking for locations. <laughs> but we also have to know that sometimes you need certain permits like that. You don't need that many permits like running from your house. You go get a seller's permit. Then you can sell stuff from your house. You feel me? What's up with everybody on here? I see y'all. I see y'all. I'm, I'm trying not to lose my thoughts. Don't think I ain't, you know, don't see y'all. But if y'all got any questions concerning what we're talking about, locations and starting a business, get at me on that. A couple people hit me up about publishing. I'm going to do something about publishing later, about my book publishing and how I got started and stuff like that. I'm going to do something later, but I get a lot of messages about this. So back to the back to the action ahead. So here I am. I'm back in. I'm still in L.A. I'm right here on Manchester and San Pedro. This is considered the east side of L.A. So we didn't find one cool location. You feel me? We didn't find one cool location where it's isolated from things. And we also could pull and it, it, it look like both locations closed. So we could make the, the location ours because I, if I want to hit on the police, sorry. But if I want to lock up on both locations, be isolated, don't know why I would rent both of them out. 
and then I could use, you know, extra room, extra space. That's if you got the money, if I had the money or not. And I'm just talking in general. I'm just not talking about me. I'm just trying to give y'all examples of what I will do. See, I wonder if that barbershop is still open. Oh, my shit. I think, I don't know if my camera's still going, it's freezing or not. But like I said, the key to, the key to starting a business is location. I'll make a part two to this because I think my streaming is going down. I don't know if 